Hello guys, welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today we're taking a look at my Black Flame Assassin build, which, as the name suggests, focuses primarily around Godskin Black Flame incantations and a bit of fire damage as well as the option, emphasis on the word option, to instantly break stances with Flame of the Red Mains and then instantly follow up with a critical. I primarily run with a Misery called Dagger to take advantage of critical damage, which is where the Assassin aspect comes in. Now, I've tried very hard to make sure that the build can be played entirely with incantations alone and for the most part it works fine. This build is a little bit harder than any other build I've played so far but it's also one of the strongest and when I say hard I mean as hard as you want to make it for yourself because I utilize combos and try to play with a bit of flair but you on the other hand might feel like taking it easy and throwing black flame fireballs at range or spamming flame of the red mains. That's completely up to you. The only issues I've run into so far are with one or two bosses that are pretty much immune to fire damage which is where we might want to consider a backup weapon but other than that we're demolishing pretty much all enemies in new game plus at level 150 including three shotting lesser crucible knights which although they have a weakness to fire and lightning i didn't expect them to die that laughably fast to this build so for our seal we're obviously going to be running with a max upgraded god slayer seal and for the talismans we're going to want a fire scorpion charm which is going to increase fire attack the flox canvas talisman which greatly increases the potency of our incantations godfrey icon enhances charge spells and skills and most of our black flame and incantations can be charge enhanced and finally it depends on if you're using my assassin playstyle a dagger talisman which is going to boost critical damage but if you find yourself rarely going for the criticals and you want to prioritize incantations then i'd recommend the primal glintstone which will reduce your hp but reduce fp cost of your incantations you do have another option in terms of damage increase which is the ritual sword talisman this dramatically increases your raw attack power whilst at maximum hp and this does affect your incantation damage however keep in mind in boss fights it's highly unlikely you're not going to take some kind of chip damage from somewhere and therefore lose the effect so it's entirely up to you all three are viable choices so as mentioned i'm using the misery core dagger due to its extremely high critical modifier with the flame of the red mains ash of war and then set to the flame art affinity the red mains ash of war is not only providing insane stance break but it's also a very fast aoe option as well i just try not to spam this skill and really only use it as a combo finisher because it's very very easy to become cheesy if you spam this skill it's a little bit over tuned so go easy on it. For our incantations, first we have Black Flame, your general lobbed fireball which has decent range and great damage. It can be charged and like all of the Black Flame offensive abilities it continues to tick for DOT damage after the initial burst. Next is the Black Flame Ritual which summons a ring of Black Flame around you. This has two main functions for me against lesser enemies. It's a great barrier that staggers anything that walks into it allowing you to free cast another spell without being interrupted. Obviously it's not going to prevent something like a giant or a major boss walking right through it but its other function which is useful against those big enemies is it does massive damage over time if you lay this underneath a knockdown or incapacitated boss and we're talking thousands of damage so next we have scouring black flame it's a bit finicky but when you get the hang of how to direct it it's basically a stronger version of black flame obviously we still take black flame due to the range and ease of use but in situations where you can get this incantation off you're going to use it typically against a tall enemy or a group of enemies i say tall because the main issue with the way it arches is it has an upward wave motion that will sail over the heads of most small enemies if you're not close enough but this can be rectified by unlocking your target camera and aiming it slightly down it will manually aim so that it can hit enemies there even on the floor next we have noble presence now if you watch the montage at the beginning you saw me comboing with this quite a lot i love this ability but i can't really recommend it for the average person because whilst it's super strong it is quite hard to use so only use this if you find the combat in this game really fun and want to challenge yourself or flex on bosses this isn't for someone who likes to summon spirits and pew pew from range it's very similar to wrath of gold but with some very important differences first of all it has a much smaller range but it doesn't knock enemies away from you it knocks them up into the air which is what allows you to follow up in a combo because you don't have to move forward to reach the enemy if that combo results in a stance break or something finally we have our two buff incantations they don't stack so you're going to have to pick one based on the situation but i also want to state here at this point yes there are other incantations and buffs you can use in this build but i'm following an aesthetic theme here hence why no holy incantations so first we have black flames protection which is a defensive buff that dramatically increases physical damage negation and when i say dramatic it's significantly more than something like the dragon crest great shield talisman and you can even use them together but the reason why this incantation is so good is because damage negation comes with huge diminishing returns once you meet a certain point so with this buff you can wear lighter armor entirely for fashion and still receive the benefits of dramatic physical damage negation because if you were 
using something like the bull goat's armor and use this spell you'd be getting much less of a benefit from it the incantation alone gives you far more physical damage negation than wearing full bull goat's armor itself so it's a perfect defensive option if on the other hand you want to go full damage that's where flame grant me strength comes in which raises both your fire and physical attack i think to around 20 percent for both which as you can imagine is a dramatic increase in overall damage it doesn't last as long as most other buffs i think around 30 seconds whereas something like black flames protection is around 70 seconds i believe lastly on the spells i forgot to mention modifiers from armor that can affect these spells and when it comes to the noble presence incantation you can get a 20 percent damage bonus from the godskin noble robe but it looks so ridiculous i think i'll take the minus 20 percent thanks but yeah it's there if you want to make a meme build and look the part for our physic mix flask we 100 percent want flame shroud in crack tier which boosts our fire attacks the second is completely optional but i take faith not crystal tier for a very specific reason it adds plus 10 to faith and i'm running at 70 faith in my stats so this takes me directly to a major soft cap of 80 which is perfect you might do things a little bit differently so it's entirely up to you as for those stats this is my main character that i do all of my builds on so i started as a samurai class at level 150 we're running 50 vigor for pve and new game plus it's more than enough for pvp you might want to go to 60 in fact you probably would go to 60 but this is primarily a pve character so for me 50 vigor mind is my final dump stat so i'm going to come back to this last 20 endurance is enough for me to wear all of the armor and equipment i want to run strength and dex are going to be based on the minimum amount needed for the weapons you want to use now remember i only use the dagger and it's a very light weapon both in terms of weight and stats so really you want to take this into consideration before setting your stats up i'll also say that dex does increase incantation casting speed but it's so minimal that the amount invested doesn't justify the increase unless you're primarily using a dex scaling weapon and i'm mostly casting and my weapon is scaled to flame art affinity which is a d dex d faith scaling and i only use it for critical so what i do is i invest 70 points into faith intentionally leaving those 10 points free that we gain back from the flask bringing that up to 80 and what that then allows me to do is dump all of my leftover stats into mind which goes to exactly 45 which is an extremely comfortable fp bar that allows me to stay aggressive on bosses without having to worry about drinking now of course to some people that's going to be completely unnecessary which it is you'd be totally right to think that which is why for most people i'd recommend having a backup weapon other than the dagger and dumping stats into that weapon scaling but this is the way i have it with 45 mind and it works perfectly for me so finally for fashion i am running the skeletal mask and malaketh's armor it really gives that dark assassin vibe and it's also interesting from a lore perspective in regard to malaketh and the black flame and that's pretty much the build guys remember if you don't have any of the items in this build or any other item for that matter and you're looking for people to trade with you are welcome to join our discord which will be provided in the description and pinned comment if you like this video please hit the thumbs up as that really helps me out and if you're not already subscribed consider doing so for more elden ring content coming soon okay guys until next time take care